During Monday's debate, you said in response to a question about whether you would tell voters if you would vote for Donald Trump on November 8th, you said, uh, at some point I probably will. So we have less than three weeks to go. Reporters operate on deadlines, assuming we can't push them back. What's your personal deadline and when you would tell people? I don't have a personal deadline. Uh, we'll, we'll keep it simple. Do you plan to vote for Donald Trump? It's, it's, my position hasn't changed since Monday evening. Huh. Okay, I, I, you know, so I'll repeat it for you, uh, and, and just to be clear. Um, I have lots of serious concerns about Donald Trump. I think he's a badly flawed candidate. I have publicly criticized him for many of the things that he has said, positions he's taken. I find an awful lot about him that is very objectionable and very disturbing. In Hillary Clinton, I find someone who's completely unacceptable. Uh, her career of just flagrant dishonesty, the fact that she has, she just can't seem to tell the truth, her personal corruption, the disastrous foreign policy that she oversaw, she's permanently disqualified in my mind. So um, I look like, I think as most of them, Pennsylvanians, if not most, an awful lot, um, and see two very flawed candidates. And we're in a terrible dilemma. I can't believe with 300 million plus Americans, these are the choices we have, but that's where we are. So I feel stuck, I can never vote for Hillary Clinton, have real problems uh, with Donald Trump, but again, you know, I've been very openly critical of the nominee of my party. Katie McGinty has never had a single word of criticism about the serial lies from Hillary Clinton, about the corruption of the Clinton Foundation, about the blatant illegality and dishonesty about the email scandal. There's never a single word which underscores the, the difference between us. I, I'm willing to criticize my party when it's wrong. She never will.